Morning YouTubers. Yet again, we are on another trip. This time we're going over to Furnace Lakes in Horsham, West Sussex. It's coming up 10 past five in the morning. Just gonna meet my brother Danny and then we will be at the lake. Catch you there. guys we're here at last this is my swim how beautiful that is not a very wide lake but it's home to some huge catfish uh, just to show you the rigs I'm using just using a simple inline lead system on a buffer bead a nice don't know how big that is, probably about 20 mil, or something like that. Uh, krill boily. I was told to fish as if you're fishing for carp, and then you'll get the uh, cats coming along. Just uh, gonna dip the boilies into a nice king prawn glug. And I'm just gonna chuck out a couple of handfuls of krill boilies with some krill pellets. And I'll just give you a little tour guide of the cabin that's right behind my bivvy. <sighs> got very good facilities. The microwave, got your kettle, got your sink, all the large catches up on the walls. So yeah, really, really happy with the swim selections. And as I said, hopefully we'll uh, put one on the bank soon. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I've been so excited for this session. As you know, we're over at Furnace Fisheries and this is literally like a five-star fishery. You don't fish it often because it's quite expensive, but the fish in it, are absolutely massive they go up to 140 150 pounds I think um, but yeah so we got onto the lake that we wanted to get onto which is the Roman Lake I'm in peg 13 um, so yeah I'll just give you a quick tour of everything and show you what's going on so I'm using my big uh, dial with big pit bait runners as you can see 
you've got to use these big reels for this for this type of fishing. I've got my two Fox Warrior XT um, cart rods, my TF gear bite alarms. There we go. So I've got my TF gear bivy, which is huge. It's absolutely massive. I mean, there's just so much room inside. You could fit three people in there easily. Easily. The video doesn't do it justice, to be fair. All right. So, just stand back a little bit. So as it goes, I've got one right there, about a foot and a half from the island. And I've got another one, I'd say about four foot from the island. So I've baited it up all along that back corner, that back shelf, sorry. And I've already had a couple of beeps on my left rod. Which hopefully shows that there's fish in the area. Hopefully, see you in the next vlog when we've got a big fish on the end of the line. Right, hello everybody. Right, it's half ten at the moment and so far we've both had a bit of activity. Um, your, Roy, your swim's actually a little bit more active at the moment it seems, doesn't it? Yeah, a few bleeps here and there. Missed one, must have hooked it in the pad. But plenty more hours to go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, normally when you go over to these cat lakes, you don't normally have too much activity to start off with, isn't it? Normally it's as the day goes on and the evenings and night times. But exactly. it's definitely looking good and positive at the moment. So stay tuned. No, cheers. I'm just going to give you a quick 360 view of behind where we're fishing. So you've got one of the lakes here, which is just behind us. That's just a specific carp lake. So you can see it through there. You've got like the little lanes which the quad things go up and down on. And then you've got my swim, which is over there. And as I come around, you've got Lee's swim, which is over here. And obviously his bivy and all that stuff. But right behind where Lee is, you've got the cabin which is in here which is beautiful you've got all the stuff that's inside there I'll show you there maybe a bit later and then yeah and then when you come back around here you've obviously got Lee swim again and then back up here to my swim morning guys well it's uh, half past seven in the morning um, I've only had the one cat a 36 pound which I got late last night but because it was uh, wet raining and dark I couldn't get out the camera um, but I have taken a photograph unfortunately Danny hasn't had anything as yet um, but he has had some uh, bleeps and all that on the rods um, but uh, all early hours in the morning it's been windy blowing like a hooli um, so yeah the weather's not great this morning um, but as I say still hopeful for another cat hopefully fingers crossed A lovely wet morning. Forty pound. Pick what? Going to hold the camera down. It's filming now. It's worth getting wet for, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, bro. <laughs> Go on, bro. <laughs> That's it, bro. Yeah. Beast. That's a beast, right? I 
was a filmer going back down. There you go, brother. Oh. That'd do it. Cheers, lad. Well, guys, absolutely buzzing with that one. 40 pound cat on the nose. My arms are killing me. Uh, the rain's calmed down now, which is good. So, um, but yeah, two cats of the session. Well happy. Danny's having some action on his rods. Yeah, I've just rebaited, recasted, and um, my left one's already had a pickup. Absolutely brilliant, Dan. I can hear it from over there, mate. Yeah, it's just literally moved about three foot from where I'm fishing over to the right, and then it dropped it again. So I, mean, I think the rain's turning them on, Dan, turning them on. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So, a little recap about last night. Well, firstly, the weather was absolutely torrential last night. It's been a while since I fished where the weather's been that bad. Um, but yeah, on my left rod, I woke up about half two in the morning to it screaming off, struck into it, had it on for about four or five seconds, and the hook obviously wasn't a good hold to it come off, which I was a bit gutted about. Um, yeah, I had a few bleeps throughout the night. This morning, I've rebaited my right rod, put it out there, and within about five minutes, I had a pick up, and it moved from where it was over to about four foot to the right. Um, but yeah, as it stands, I haven't caught one. Um, so, last chance saloon. Fingers crossed I can get one before we leave, and yeah, go from there, guys. If I was a catfish, I would eat that for breakfast. Oh, I had that for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do on my right rod is I'm going to change from the chunk of mackerel that I've got, which I've still got out of my right rod, and I'm going to put on a string of squid. So I bought these yesterday from the shop on site, and I haven't used them, so... It's always worth a go, brother. Okay, so if you come down here, Luke, I'll show yeah. you these little squids. Now, these are the little squids. Oh, they look delicious. I know. Looks like a looks like a bogey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nice. So you have to hook them through the head, which is the toughest part of the body. So I'm going to go for maybe four. Have a nice string of them, eh? Yeah, one, two. And they smell. They really do smell. I mean, what cat could have resist one of those? If I was a cat, I would. Look at that. I'll tell you what, I'll even go for one more, maybe. Yeah, oh yeah. It's looking good. That's yes. It. Oh, yes, Dan. All right. Okay. So I've got the Kevlar rig with my free running lead system. Size two catfish hook which you really do need to use when you're going for these catfish because if you use the standard carp rig, it, it'll break off. I mean, it happens every time. Oh, definitely. Right, here we go. So, oh, juicy. That's the string there, guys. Best thing I find to use is just get a tiny, fine little bit of stick, um, keep it natural. Okay, so. Make sure that first one's got a good hold. Two, three. A squid kebab. Four, five. 
Okay. And one other little thing we're going to do, guys. We've added an added piece of attraction. Okay. Oh, yeah, good old Nash. Look at that. It's oozing with attraction. Look at that, guys. Wow. Now, look at that. Now, if that don't catch you, a fat cat, oh. I'll eat my cap. Even though I'm not wearing mine. You can eat mine. <laughs> okay. All right. Just getting it out there. Beautiful, Dan. Absolutely beautiful. Now when you're catfishing guys, completely different to carp fishing, you have to have slack lines with your swingers, preferably keep your weight all the way at the back so you have hardly any resistance on your line. Hopefully that'll do the trick, Dan. Fingers crossed, brother. And that's it. So you've basically got slack lines. That's only just to keep a tiny bit of uh, tension on the line just coming down through the bite alarm. Apart from that, from that point forward, we've got loose lines. So if a cat does pick it up, it should be able to pick it up, freely move until it takes the bait properly. So if it doesn't take that squid kebab, then I don't know what will. Fingers crossed, brother. <laughs> Danny's in. Look at him. Look, over the back. Look how big he is. Ooh. Right. Oh. oh, look at the swells, Dan. This is a monster. Look over the back. <laughs> oh, yes, brother. Just make sure I'm still going to shoot. Leave my lads in it, mate. Get in, brother. Get in. <laughs> oh my god. I've not felt a weight like this before. In all the years we've been fishing. Oh my god. He looks a lump. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that.
arms aching yet. <laughs> yeah, my arms, my back, my legs. Oh, do you want, do you want me to bring this one in? Is the line's going that way. Oh my gosh, the size of this thing. Sexy squid does it again. <laughs> Mate, this is a monster. Oh my gosh. Wow. The bend in these uh, Fox Warrior XTs. Head on there, Dan. Scale, uh, your things as well, eh? your scales. I'll go and get the scales. I'm going to get the scales. And uh, that sling. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Is that in the action? Oh. Yes. Yes. She's one angry pussy. Look at this, eh? There we go. Beautiful. Yep, I just. Slider in. Alright. Oh. Roll her in there. Alright, are you ready? I am ready, brother. Come back here then. Right, let's go. Alright, she's ready yet. So, that comes up 29 minus 7, 22 pounds, bro. 20 Two pound two, yeah. Twenty two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just want—I do want to double weigh this. Uh, when we go, okay. So here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. The belly on her. Look. Gorgeous, Look eh? That. Now that is it. It's a fully fed catfish. Look the carp crew that. screamers do it again. Look at that. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Can right. I also um, get a couple of pictures, eh? Yeah, of course you can. Lisa. What a beautiful fish. I mean, if you look at that, you, it's just one whole length of pure muscle, isn't it? Oh, solid. Absolute solid. Okay, let's put her back. All right, let's see the beast return to her lair. Look 
There we go. Like the Loch Ness Monster. Well in Dan. Cheers brother. Thank you. <laughs> Get in there, what a Well done, Lou. Well done, Lou. Well done, Lou. Well done, Lou. The cherry on the cake. <laughs> the Knight Brothers do it again. When she took me around that corner, I thought it's game over. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's alright, wasn't it? Uh, that should be alright. Uh, at the moment, at the moment, I think I was there. Uh, oh my god. I fully there. Uh, oh my god. Let's do it again. Alright, John. Uh... Oh. Come on, mate. That's it. I thought you were going to leave that around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I know. You know, he, he literally brought it back round. What's that fish doing there, Vixen? 
Oh, I had to bully her, yeah. <laughs> she was going on that corner. Bit of blood on her lips. Uh, I'll give her a little treat. Yeah, put sticking her back. Yeah, we got the gear, the uh, carp care kit. Do you want to uh, grab your uh, carp care kit and we'll treat our lips, eh? Yeah. I'll just give it a bit of water. Another shot into you. Yep. Lovely. All right. So we've got a carp care kit, which what's, what this does is it treats when you catch a fish. Um, you can basically put it where you've caught them, or if you see any ulcers or anything, you can just basically treat it. Where is she? It's on this side here. Just stick a bit of that in the corner, rub it on, and that will. Put a waxy seal on that. It's antiseptic, isn't it? Yeah. So there uh, we go, that'll treat her. Yeah. Okay, bro. Just looked after. And our uh, the final hold of the slimy pussy. <laughs> there she is. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Right, there she goes. Bosh. Straight out. Easy as that. Well done, well done. <laughs> Cheers. Our session at Furnace Lakes, we've had a smashing session. We've lost a few, yeah. we've had four on the bank. Yeah. We've both had our personal B, uh, PBs. And yeah, it's been an amazing session and I hope you've enjoyed all the footage. Yeah, so thanks for watching and if you uh, love our videos, remember to like, share and subscribe. And uh, see you on the bank on the next one. See ya.